afternoon guys, I'm Linz from Home Buyers UK. Uh, check out our website, homebuyersuk.co.uk. Um, we've got a shop on there where you can buy your home buy stuff. We've got a, a merchant section where you've got goods and services listed. So, And also the community, we've got over 2,500 members on the website and over 25,000 on our Facebook group as well. So check us out on there. Um, so this video is video four for the Pinter. So this is a fresh brew system. It's new out, only been out a few weeks. And um, I'm just gonna give a quick overview of what we've done because we're now five days in, okay? So you get everything you need in these eco crates. So this, everything that comes in here is enough to make 10 pints of beer or cider or whatever you order, okay? And you get everything in the packs, you get everything you need. So the first stage is the purifying stage, which we went through on the first video. And really all you're doing is getting it ready. So you're cleaning it out, getting it ready to brew. So you put the, the um, the purifier in with warm water, swill it all out and it's ready to go. And then the next stage is you add the uh, the fresh brewed yeast and the this the one we've chosen to stars and stripes, stars and stripes, with the fresh press then to the pint of the machine, um, obviously with water and then you let it brew. So um, there's the actual time, the minimum times are on here. So brewing time four days, condition time three days. So it can be ready in a week. However, on the back, it gives you sort of, um, they're recommended. So that's the minimum, but if you want a, a, better, a better beer and a better product, then you are better to leave, you're better off leaving it a little bit longer. So um, we've left it to brew for an extra day, and then we're gonna leave it in the fridge for seven days. And that's gonna be the actual conditioning stage. So that's the last stage. So seven days from now, it'll be ready to pour. Um, they're great though, these, these come in the post, so it's really environmentally friendly because you obviously haven't got the volume of liquid travelling all around the place because obviously you're just getting it out of your tap. So these, I think it's 70% um, less packaging compared to if you're going to get 10 pints of beer sent in a can or a bottle and 50% less CO2, so it's really good for the planet and it's, it's really nice just making your own fresh beer. Um, so what we've got to do now, the next stage, and again, really easy just follow the instructions on the app so this is the conditioning stage all we're going to do is we're going to put the pinter in the sink and we're going to remove the brewing dock swill it out and then the pint goes in the fridge so simple as that but i'm going to show you how we do it and i'm just going to literally follow the instructions so join me at the sink okay so i'm just going to lift it off so it's literally been here the whole five days just drop that in And as you can see, it's literally like step-by-step um, -step instructions on, on their website. So what we're going to do, let me turn it this way, yeah. Right. It even tells you how to, um, how you're going to remove it. So you just need to take the handle here and we're going to twist it. And there should be some pressure released. Just try and twist it. So this is the brew dock, the brewing dock. So we're going to just swell that out, get everything out of there, clean it out thoroughly. So this is obviously a crucial part of the brewing process. So I'm going to leave that here for a second and I'll, I'll wash it out thoroughly in a minute. But yeah, it just says basically clean that up. Then all we have to do, okay, is return the pint to here. We're just going to give that area a wipe, because obviously we don't want that going in the fridge like that, so we just grab a cloth. Okay, so we're literally just wiping it over just before it goes in the fridge. And then we're just gonna put the cap back on, like so. And the handle slides on. The handle could go on later, but let's have a look. Come on. There we go. Sorry, that was me being all, all thumbs. So, yeah, and then so we're going to put this into the fridge, and that's just going to sit there for seven days. So, uh, by my reckoning, I think if I was to you sort of drink this on a Saturday, 
then I'd brew a fresh one on the Sunday, and then it'd be ready the following, like a week Friday. So that sounds about right for me. So and then you have 10 pints. So I'm gonna put this in, and that's just literally gonna sit in there now until next Friday. And we'll do another video then. So, okay, cool. Speak to you soon.